In this episode, why focusing is important. Welcome back. I'm Gida Ross, host of the Power Up podcast, where we share short, relatable ideas to upgrade and elevate our everyday lives. And in this series, we look at the Torah portion of the week and in just a few minutes, get a short idea that can elevate our week. Moses grew up in the royal palace. He had everything he needed taken care of. Just a short while away, his brothers were growing up in a very different reality. They had to work back-breaking labor. The conditions were terrible. Moses had a choice. He could have ignored it. But he did something different. What he did, that we're told, is he went out and he focused his eyes and his heart on his brothers. He looked at what life was like for them. We're talking about Moses and the Jews who were slaves in Egypt. Moses did not ignore his brothers. He decided to focus on what they were going through. And as a result of that, something incredible happened. He merited to be the one that took them out of Egypt. And we're going to explain in this episode why that was. Throughout Jewish history, God has related to the Jews in two different ways. There have been periods of what is called Hester Panim, where God is hidden. We don't seem to see God. We have to really, really look for God behind the pictures. And then there are pic- there are periods where it's Arat Panim, where, where it's clear to see there's been open miracles. Each of us has the potential for both of those character traits in our life. Each of us has the choice to ignore others or to notice and focus on other people. We can look out for the child that's unhappy or we could just not notice. We could walk past someone and not notice that they need something. Let me tell you an incredible story that highlights it. There was a boy, we'll call him Steve, and he was graduating. And at his graduation, he got up to give a speech. And he stands before his class and all the family, this was pre-COVID, everyone was there. And he says, I want to thank my buddy, Joe. And everyone smiles because everyone knows that Steve and Joe are best buddies, but they're not prepared for what comes next. And he says, for saving my life, the auditorium goes quiet. What is Steve talking about? And he says, Joe, I've never shared this with you. But I was a new kid in grade nine and I didn't know anyone. And there were kids in this in this class that were mean to me. They teased me. They bullied me. You see, I wasn't the cool kid. And one Friday I had enough. My parents were away for the weekend and I thought, that's it. I'm done. I cannot take life anymore. And I packed all my school bags back um, into my school bag and I started walking home. And as I was walking home alone, you, Joe, noticed me. You noticed that here I was, a year nine kid, not a popular kid, but I was walking home alone. And every high schooler knows that a high school kid who's walking home alone, it's a painful thing. Everyone wants to fit in. And you, Joe, you crossed the road and you spoke to me and you chatted to me all the way until I got home. And I never told you that, but your short walk that day saved my life. Because when I got home, I said, I felt there was hope. I felt that if Joe had shown an interest into me and had spoken to me, then life may possibly be worth living. So I tore up the note that I had been planning to leave for my parents. And I decided to give life a second chance. And you continued, you reached out to me and you became friends. And here I am today, accepted and alive because you, Joe, decided to focus on what another kid needed. Each of us, every single day, has a choice to make. We can go through life 
not noticing our face is kind of ignoring what's going around us or we can be like joe we could be like moses who goes out and who focuses on others and we know that god treats us the way we treat others and when we focus on other people and we focus on what they need and we fulfill those needs then God looks at us and he focuses on us and he focuses his blessings on us and just like as a result of Moses turning outwards and focusing on what the Jews needed he merited to be the one through whom um, the Jews came out of Egypt so too when we focus on others we merit bringing divine blessings into this world. So this week, set yourself a challenge to notice what someone else needs just once. I'd love to hear if you managed to do this and how it went for you. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Please check the show notes for my current offer of a free one-to-one call and how to book it. And meanwhile, don't forget to rate, review and subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss out and share the love with anyone who would benefit. Thank you. Have a great day and happy Hanukkah.